Good morning, everybody. Sorry that my voice is not at its best, but I still wanted to do a video vlog today rather than typing out. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the feature that I did last week with Mary Bowen on what she learned from Monica Lewinsky. If you have not read that that blog from last week by all means go back it's a very good blog so today i wanted to talk about the fact that i'm sick um as you can tell my voice is i'm a horse however over the last month the month of october i have been dealing with a different type of sickness and although i won't go into detail just understand that um when you're sick, in whatever form or fashion that you're sick in, it's very frustrating. And on top of all of that comes, oh, I still need to lose weight. Oh, I still need to work. Oh, I still need to take care of my family. Oh, I still need to live life. And so what I want to do is encourage each of you to... Continue to live your life in moderation. Sometimes you have to take a break. You may want to work out five days this week, but your body is telling you three days is enough. Now, this isn't that, oh, I'm being lazy right now. This is that, no, Jessica, you need to sit down before you pass out. And so that's some of the experiences that I had in the month of October of my body being stressed, having family issues, and just a variety of different things. But I did not give up. I continue to eat in a healthy way. I even have a guy friend. Um, I was having a really bad day, and I called him and I told him, I want a cookie. And he said, no, I am not giving you a cookie. You can have a couple of chips, but I'm not giving you a cookie because I don't want you to fall in to your normal mode of depression and eating and allowing food to become what helps you in that manner. And so it helps to have people around you that know your story, that know the struggles that you have, and they want to help you stay accountable even when you feel like just drinking everything or eating everything. So I want to encourage you all to expand your accountability group and to just stay focused. Living a life of moderation is the best plan you can ever have for anything, whether that's weight loss, whether that's starting a new business, whether that's starting a new relationship. Moderation is key. You don't have to give up every single thing that you love, but you do have to do things in moderation. If you're one of those people who you don't want to give up alcohol, don't give up alcohol. A year and a half ago, I gave up soda. I gave up soda and pops because I didn't want to give up alcohol. And this year, I trimmed back extremely on the amount and the types of alcohol that I allowed to come into my body. Now, if I want to have a drink, I will have a glass of wine or I will have a straight drink like um, maybe a shot of vodka. Because there's no point in adding additional calories by having a fruity drink that gives you alcohol on top of sugar, on top of sugar. And that's just one example. Some people could go, you know, don't have to drink a lick of all of alcohol. Other people can't stop eating sweets. You have to find a place of moderation in order for you to survive life, period. You cannot overindulge every single day because that isn't healthy. When you talk about sugar, if you say, hey, Jessica, I can never give up sugar, that's fine. But you don't have to eat a brownie every single day. Choose three days out of the week to eat a brownie. For that matter, choose two. Just don't eat three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brownies. Moderation is key for whatever it is that you want to do in your life. If you want to build your business but you still have a full-time job, start working on it from day to day, building that. 
I know my voice sounds terrible, but I know that you're getting the message. Continue to thrive in your life and continue to know that number one, Today is the day. Stop saying tomorrow. Stop saying the first of the year. Stop saying next week. Oh, well, you know I got a vacation. Oh, well, you know I got a girl trip. Today is that day. You are not promised tomorrow. You are not promised 20 seconds from now. If you had a bad breakfast, eat a good lunch. If you had a bad breakfast and a bad lunch, eat a good dinner. Continue to fight the good fight. So, I am available if you want to meet me face to face, invite me into your home to do a prep and pep class, where I'll come in and do a two hour tutorial on how to meal prep for you, and I will also cook a full meal. So if you're interested, you can email me, you can respond to this particular vlog. Also, if you haven't gotten the book, if you don't know the story of my life and where I've come from, please Go to Amazon, go to Barnes & Noble, or you can go directly to my website and order the book, Confessions of a Butterfly, Relationships, Food, and Self-Esteem. You guys, be inspired. Continue to live your life in moderation. Go after your dreams and after your goals. Peace.